So oh, today on RC Guy Garage, we're actually gonna do something that uh, I've been wanting to do ever since I actually got this car. Got a GoPro actually set up right there on my wife's car. In the back, you've got these guys right here. So we're gonna be taking out the Losi DBXLE 2.0. We're actually gonna see how many miles can it go on a full charge. Now obviously there's variables uh, as far as temperature, like temperature today of... 63. Yeah, 63. <laughs> I can't see it. So I've got kind of like a uh, nice spring day-ish, even though it's winter time. And obviously you can see people riding their motorcycles and doing all that stuff. But we're gonna take the DBXLE 2.0. We're gonna see how many miles can it go. Um, we are running, uh, obviously on 8S, we're running two 5,000 milliamp, uh, I think they're 50C batteries, something like that. I can't remember, but we'll pop it open and we'll check it out after the fact. Just gonna pop the car out and uh, put it in front and I'm just gonna rip. Alright, so here we go, we're gonna actually try it. So the speed limit over here is 25 miles an hour, so we're gonna kind of just, we're just gonna go.
folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs>
So how many miles did the low C DBXLE 2.0 go? Let's find out. <laughs> oh, sorry, Vector. Apparently I woke you up. <clears throat> so we are back. And funny thing is, is it's the stuff that I guess you don't realize maybe sometimes when you're in the moment that, uh, well, let me just show you. Pay attention to the sound that you're going to hear right now. So obviously, when I do this, there should be some type of a drag where uh, there shouldn't be any spinning on the drivetrain. Meaning, spinning this wheel right here should literally just spin that differential or spin the differential and spin that wheel actually in the opposite direction. But when I pulled the car out of the car, was when I realized that this thing actually could have gone further. Now, when I did check the batteries, uh, when I popped them out, <clears throat> I put them on the, uh, on the, I put them in a storage charge. But when I put them on, the batteries were pretty much depleted. But I almost feel like I could have made it that 0.7 extra mile uh, back. So I think what's what's nuts, right? is for the distance that this thing went, which I think I calculated it out to be 11.4 miles, we did do a couple of pull-offs. So I want to say time-wise, ah, oh man, like maybe we drove it like 32-ish minutes. That, that was crazy. I didn't, I actually didn't think I was going to make it as far as I made it. Just based upon, you know, obviously how, you know, I've driven it in the past, but that's that's full trigger. So that kind of also goes to show you about technically fuel economy. So fuel economy on a lipo battery. So what do we call this? Do we call this MPLs? Like, no, wouldn't be MPLs. MPMs. I guess miles per milliamp, maybe that's the way it works. I have no idea. All I know is that this thing went way further than I thought, drove a lot longer as far as, you know, um, time frame wise. And then the realization that it could have gone further, which is nuts. So, so there you go. Uh, maybe a boring video, but it's just information to put out there that if you were going to drive this low... <laughs> Losey on the street or whatever 
that uh, I think maybe we hyper mild it. Maybe that's maybe that's how it worked out. Maybe we got some hyper mileage out of there, kind of like how they do with like the Priuses or something like that. I don't know, Prius. <laughs> But anyways, I just thought that was cool. Uh, information, you know, to put out there that, you know, on a uh, 5,000 milliamp pack, 50C, uh, obviously running 8S on this low C DBXLE 2.0, how many miles can it go? So we figured like, I don't know, 11.4, maybe like 12 miles, something like that. 12 miles on a full charge 5,000 50C packs. So yeah, so that's it. So if you like content that you're seeing from RC Guy Garage, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Share the video if you want. Throw me a thumbs up. If you liked the video, if you thought it was hella boring, throw me a thumbs down. Whatever. All it is, all it's about is literally just a smile on your face and just having a good time with the hobby. So that's all that matters to me. So that's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Now I actually want to see like what slipped. Obviously an opinion came loose and... uh Oh, that was that was messed up. I didn't I didn't realize that this thing could probably go forever. That, that's that's absolutely crazy. Cannot believe this thing actually could have gone further. So we'll just flip up the top here. Slide it forward a little bit so this top doesn't come crashing down. But uh, you can see, um, it's free spinning right now. And I just didn't realize, I thought it was a dead battery because we know once it gets to a dead battery that what it does is it still gives you steering but just doesn't operate the um, the drive. So I just want to see, you know, what, what backed off on that uh, on that pinion right there. Whether if it was, you know, we lost the set screw or what the heck happened. I, I have no idea. Maybe it heated up or something? I, I don't know. It's just... Uh, Take this little cover off here. 2.5. It's only one screw to pop this little cover off. <laughs> Look at that. It totally backed off. Like what? Wait a minute. Wow, it did. It slipped that much. That's That's insane. All it did was just slip. That's crazy. It's actually still kind of tight in a way. Well, we'll have to reset this. Wow, that's nuts. Still got the right amount of uh, mesh. Obviously, nothing, nothing that, nothing changed on that. Wow, that's crazy. So we're gonna pop out that screw right there, and then. Uh, Reset the pinion how it should be throw some more thread lock on there and, and then be done with it So obviously you can see the pinion actually backed off completely to the motor Doesn't look like there's any damage to anything Oh, that's crazy Oh, yeah, wait a minute So the other thing that I didn't mention was to be honest with you how nerve-wracking it actually was Driving that thing on the street. I was very careful uh, Obviously on turns where I kind of couldn't see that blind corner I'd slow down the wife would slow down She actually had a better visual than I did, but I would try to keep the RC, you know tight over towards the corner uh, There's obviously not going to be any bikes or anything like that on that side uh, But we went we went I guess at a, at a good rate. There was one time. I think we got up to 37 uh, miles an hour and then pretty confident that on one of the drives we punched it up to 40 so yeah so anyways thanks for watching